What's going on guys, today you're going to learn how to add, manage and remove bots from your Discord server. So, let's get right into it. So to do this, the first thing you're going to want to do is create an account with Discord, and you can do that by clicking on the link in the description. Once you've created an account and you've got your Discord all set up, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and create a new server, and you can do that by clicking on the plus button on the left hand side of the screen. You want to click on create server, and you want to name whatever you want, and you want to make sure your server region is correct, so I'm going to do that now. Okay, so I'm going to call my tutorial server 23, just an example, and you can also change the icon of the server right now, but I'm not going to do that because I'm creating a video. Once you've done that, you just want to click create. Okay, so the server will take a couple of seconds to create, it won't take long. Uh, it will automatically pop up with an invite code, so you can send this to people to invite them to your server, but I'm not going to do that, so I'm just going to click the X icon. Okay, so now we've got our new Discord server set up, we then want to go ahead and install a new bot to it. And we do this by going to a website called discordbots.org. And it's basically a marketplace full of hundreds of thousands of bots that you can search for and they can do pretty much whatever you want. So for example, they're all categorised, this one's the top voted for this month. We've got trending and we've also got certified bots as well. Now if I go all the way to the top, I'm going to search for a bot called Dino. So if we click on search here. This is the one, the third one along, and it's got over 800,000 server installs. Now if you click on it, it's basically going to give you a quick rundown of what the bot does. Uh, this one basically moderates your server, um, and it gives you loads of commands to do so, so it makes everything easy in the future. And to install this bot, all we do is click on invite, and we might need to sign into our Discord account. Um, once you've done that, it will come up with this pop-up box here and it's basically going to ask you for all the permissions that you need to make the bot work uh, it's just going to need administrator and all the rest of it now if you're not okay with that you can install different bots to do different things um, but there is, these are fully trusted bots and they won't do anything dangerous you just need to activate these in order to make them work but if you are happy with that what you want to do is click on the drop down box and you want to select a server to assign that bot to so this one's my main server but we're going to be using our tutorial server so we're going to click on that and then we're going to click on authorize now you will need to check that you're not a robot so just click on that box and it's basically just going to authorize it it may take a couple of seconds to do so so just let it load okay so our bot has been installed to our server i will know this because it's been added to the members list here now if you are going to be adding multiple bots to one server in the future which you most likely will be you want to assign them all under one role so they're all neatly categorized and you can control them all at once now we could do this by clicking on the properties box here and going into the server settings now if we click on roles and add another role we want to call this box so we can identify it give it a color and we want to make sure the admin is selected as well now the reason because most bots will be using admin privileges not all of them but most of them will be um, they won't be doing anything dangerous it just makes them basically work so we're going to click on save changes now what we want to do is go back and select the dino bot and we want to assign it to the bots role and we can do this for all bots that are installed in the future i also forgot to mention that in the role settings you want to tick this box here and click on save changes so it basically makes it easier for other members to identify who is a member and who is a bot so if we exit out of here as you can see they are now separated and it makes it easier to understand now as we already know bots are designed to bring customization to our servers and make life a bit easier or a bit more exciting and it does this through a list of commands now if you want to know the command for this bot usually it will say it here next to the title or sometimes it will say it uh, on the page where you download it from so this one is question mark help so if we type that into the text box here question mark help it will basically private message us a load of links that we can use in order to use the bot so it's only just come through that was a bit delayed if you click on our private messages here as you can see it's uh, gave us a link to a full list of commands that we can use sometimes it will give you the full list directly in discord or sometimes it will expect you to go to their website so if I click on all commands here, obviously it's going to link us out to the back end of their uh, Dino website and it's basically going to give you a list of commands here. Okay, so now we've added bots to our server and we've managed them. Now I'm going to show you how to actually remove them from your server and it's the easiest part. Now there are two main ways of doing this. The first thing is to 
right click on the bot that you want to remove so this is the dino bot for example and you just want to click on kick dino or the name of the bot that it is now there is an alternative method and you do this by clicking on the drop down menu in the top right clicking on server settings and clicking on members now again just identify the bot you want to remove click on the three dots here and click on kick dino now it give you a reason to kick it so you don't have to have a reason all you need to do is select kick and it's going to fully remove that bot from your server i just want to take the time to quickly shout out a brand new community server i have launched i wanted to create a friendly community where everyone can get together and help each other out whether it be a hardware or software issue issue growth advice or just for general chatting and making friends there is also a place where you can keep up to date with my latest content so you don't miss a thing and I'm also looking to expand the community server and its features so it will be more focused and more beneficial to you and it can be a great source of real time information. So if you are interested the invite link is in the description below where you can join right now. So if this video is helpful please leave a like and pass it on to someone who may find it helpful as well. If you do have any questions or comments just leave them below and I'll reply to you as soon as possible. So thank you for watching and have a good day.